Hello students, today we will start third part of mineral and power resources and today we will start with the topic power resources. Dear students, you have to listen very carefully and watch this video completely. Don't skip so that you will be able to understand power or energy. Power is very important in our life and we are dependent on power a lot. You can take example this is the summer season and you can see at your home fan, cooler, ACs, refrigerators etc. All these kinds of gadgets and machines run with the help of power. Without power we cannot use these kinds of things. Clear? In the same way your uh, TV, your mobile, your computer all the things need power or energy. So from where this power or energy we get, clear? So today we will talk about the sources of power resources. There are two types of sources of power, right? First of all, you know that where power can be used in industries, agriculture, transport, communication and defense. And there are two types of power resources. Number one, conventional sources of energy and number two, non-conventional sources of energy. What are the conventional sources of energy? Uh, conventional sources of energy means those uh, resources, right, of energy which have been uh, used for a long time, common use for a long time. These also are known as traditional sources of energy. For example, firewood and fossil fuels clear are the main conventional energy sources firewood what is firewood from the forest the remains of plants and uh, trees are gathered collected by the people and these are used for cooking and heating especially in the villages <clears throat> in our country more than 50 percent of the energy used by villagers comes from the firewood right you can see in the villages uh, many people uh, gather the woods from the forest and from outside clear and they use that for cooking in their homes and uh, uh, by using the chulhas and heating clear remains of plants and animals now we are talking about fossil fuels which were buried under the earth for millions of years got converted by the heat and pressure for example in the previous video discussed about minerals right so these are minerals fossil fuels are minerals for example coal petroleum and natural gas all the three sources of energy are uh, conventional and these are non renewable resources means depleted very soon these are the main sources of energy now the reserves of these minerals are limited as we have talked about it because these are non conventional sources of energy because uh, the rate at which growing world population is consuming them is far greater than the rate of their formation. So these are likely to be exhausted soon. Now the first one is coal. It is abundantly found fossil fuel in India. So many places produce coal. It's used as a domestic fuel industries such as iron and steel industries, steam engines to generate electricity. Electricity from coal is called thermal power. Wherever thermal power plant is set up means coal is used for uh, generating uh, electricity. Uh, the coal which, uh, which we use, uh, we are using today was found millions of years ago when giant ferns and swamps got buried under the layers of earth. Coal is therefore uh, referred to as buried sunshine. The leading coal producers which are USA, China, Germany, Russia, South uh, Africa, France and in India it is found in Raniganj, Jharia, Dhanbad, Bokaro uh, in Jharkhand. So Jharkhand and some parts of Odisha are major uh, coal producing areas. It is found in two geological ages, uh, Gondwana geological age and tertiary geological age. For example, uh, Gondwana is this area and in tertiary in Assam, Meghalaya etc. Clear? So this was about coal. Now uh, petroleum. Petrol, uh, petroleum means uh, the raw form of petrol, diesel, kerosene etc. 
so from petroleum we get diesel petrol kerosene wax plastics and lubricants clear so petroleum and its uh, derivatives are called black gold you have to remember dear students which mineral is known as or which resource of power uh, known as black gold it is petroleum they are very valuable and the chief petroleum producing countries are Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Qatar means Arabic countries and other are USA, Russia, Venezuela, Algeria. The leading producers in India are Digboi in Assam, Bombay High in Mumbai and deltas of Krishna and Godavari rivers and except this Ankaleshwar, Ankaleshwar in Gujarat. This is also a major oil producing area in Gujarat so this was about petroleum natural gas is found with petroleum deposits and is released when crude oil is brought to the surface it can be used as a domestic industrial fuel Russia Norway UK and Netherlands are the major producers of natural gas if we talk about in India so it is found in Jaisalmer Krishna Godavari Delta Tripura and some areas offshore in Mumbai right have natural gas resources very few uh, countries in the world have sufficient natural gas reserves of their own we import natural gas uh, cng compressed natural gas is a popular eco-friendly auto uh, automobile fuel as it causes less pollution than petroleum and diesel because petroleum and diesel uh, pollute the environment but uh, cng is eco-friendly so the sharp increase in our consumption of fossil fuels has led to their depletion at an alarming rate. The toxic uh, pollutants released from burning these fuels are also cause for concern. Unchecked burning of fossil fuel is like an unchecked dripping tap which will eventually run dry. This has led to the tapping of various non-conventional sources of energy that are cleaner, cleaner alternatives of fossil fuel because uh, non-conventional sources of energy are eco-friendly for example wind energy solar energy they they do not pollute the environment so we can say and we can understand like this and after that this is hydel power hydel power means with the help of uh, water we generate electricity this is hydel power and in india out of total electricity approximately 22 percent electricity is generated with the help of hydro uh, power or hydel power so that is known as hydroelectricity so rainwater or river water stored in dams and these dams uh, means at a height and then the water fall right from this reservoir or dams through pipes inside the dam over turbine blades placed at the bottom of the dam then the moving blades uh, turn the generator to produce electricity this is called hydroelectricity used for irrigation and to run various machines and your domestic use the leading producers which are uh, paraguay norway brazil china some important hydel power stations in india bhakra nangal project gandhi sagar nagarjun sagar dam and damodar valley projects these are major hydel power electricity generator right and something we have left here we'll discuss word origin of petroleum you have to remember the word petroleum is derived from latin word petra means rock petra means rock and oleum means oil so petroleum means rock oil clear so the word meaning of petroleum is rock oil and after that these are the conventional sources of energy dear students look very carefully oil and natural gas have the advantages and disadvantages right oil easier to transport in the tankers we can transport oil and basis of petrochemical industry it is the base of petrochemical industries and natural gas has the advantages easier to transport through the pipelines and cleaner than oil and coal cheaper than oil right but <coughs> disadvantages are <coughs> depletion of oxygen due to oil spillage and gas leakage sometimes and uh, pollutants released cause acid rain and exploration of new fuel is not easy this, this is very difficult to extract in oil and natural gas from under the earth 
next one is uh, firewood you know firewood it's very traditional and simple way advantage is easy access provides energy to large number of people and disadvantage is collection is time consuming right uh, within uh, two three or four and five hours the people can gather a small amount of firewood polluting the environment and promoting greenhouse effect and deforestation clear because we cut forest and then we collect a firewood call advantage extensively available and efficient conversion to electricity is very easy and disadvantage is polluting source and bulky to transport it's very difficult to transport call hydel power advantage is non polluting promotes irrigation and fishing and very cheap but disadvantage is displacement of local community because wherever we start a project hydel project the local community can be displaced from other place to other place and inundates low lying regions and after that expensive to set up very very costly uh, projects are there if we start hydel project so dear students in this way these were the conventional sources of energy in the next video we will study about non conventional sources of energy you have to revise this topic was this video again and if you have any problem you can write in the comment box thank you have a nice day